Hello, welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. This presentation discusses breeding soundness examinations. Reproductive efficiency is a major driver of economic health in the cow-calf operation. A breeding soundness examination, or BSE, completed on each bull before turnout is an important tool to help assure excellent reproductive efficiency. The two goals of a breeding soundness examination are, one, to accurately assess the future fertility potential of each bull, and two, to complete the examination in a manner that provides the lowest level of discomfort to the bull. An important step in the breeding soundness examination is to evaluate the bull for anatomical issues that may adversely affect his breeding ability. Observing the way the bull walks to assess feet and leg health is important. Ideally, this should occur before semen collection, but that is not always practical. Observing the bull as he exits the chute is an appropriate method to assess ambulatory health. Once the bull is adequately restrained, evaluate the scrotum and testicles. Palpate the testes to assess symmetry and tissue consistency. Both testicles should move freely within the scrotum. Any abnormality should be noted and followed up with a definitive medical diagnosis. The epididymal tails should be palpated for firmness and size. A pain response during this palpation is an indication of inflammation and further diagnostics are warranted. Any frostbite, which appears as a scabbed area on the bottom of the scrotal sac, should be noted on the breeding soundness examination form. Next, obtain an accurate measurement of the scrotum. It is important to complete this task before ejaculation because afterwards the testicles will be retracted high in the scrotum and measurement will be more difficult. Scrotal measurement can be completed either from behind the bowl or from the side. To obtain an accurate scrotal measurement, place a hand on the cranial or caudal aspect of the scrotum and gently force both testicles into the scrotal sac. Holding the testicles in the sac, place the tape around the scrotum at its widest point. Make sure the tape is positioned perpendicular to the scrotal sides. If positioned at an angle, the scrotal size will be artificially increased. Now tighten the measuring tape until the scrotum shows a slight indentation. At this point, read the measurement. Scrotal measurement is an important part of the BSE. Therefore, accurate, consistent measurements are necessary. Now remove the excess prepucial hair by cutting with scissors. Now through transrectal palpation, evaluate and stimulate the secondary sex glands. The seminal vesicles are lobulated structures that lie on the floor of the pelvis on both sides of the pelvic portion of the penis. Vesicles that have excess lobulation are enlarged or are painful when palpated indicate seminal vesiculitis. Vesiculitis is commonly associated with bull infertility and its presence must be noted on the BSC form. While palpating the vesicular glands, a slow front-to-back movement of the hand while placing slight pressure on the penis will elicit stimulation, which will make the subsequent collection process more successful. At the completion of the transrectal palpation procedure, gently insert the electroejaculator probe by keeping the anal sphincter dilated with one hand while gently inserting the probe with the other. The use of large amounts of lube is recommended. Place the bull's tail between the Y handles of the probe to hold it in place. If performing BSEs by yourself, holding on to the tail switch during the collection procedure will assure the probe does not exit the rectum. Once the probe is inserted, increase the stimulation until a very slight response by the bull is noted. Decrease the stimulation to base and then slightly increase stimulation so now the stimulation level is slightly higher than the initial stimulation level. Continue this increase-decrease stimulation procedure, again watching the overall reaction of the bull until penile extension occurs and a semen sample is collected. The first fraction of the semen is clear and originates from the accessory glands. Do not collect this fluid as it will dilute the sperm fraction. The clear fraction will transition into a white, milky fluid. This is the appropriate sample to collect. Young bulls, especially short yearlings, may have a more dilute appearing sperm fraction. The stimulation provided by the electroejaculator must be applied to each bull in relation to each bull's response. 
Therefore, it is important that the reaction of each bull be assessed during the procedure. No two bulls will respond the same. It is important that the amount of stimulation be adjusted for each bull. Bulls that vocalize or attempt to lie down usually are indicating the stimulation procedure is too fast and that excessive stimulation is being applied. If the BSC is completed properly, very few bulls should vocalize or attempt to lie down during the collection process. Complete penile extension is mandatory to pass a bull for breeding soundness. Once the penis is extended, gently retract the prepuce and observe the penis. This can be completed either before semen collection or at the end of collection. Look for hair rings, warts, and persistent frenulums. If a frenulum or wart is present and surgery is contemplated, semen collection should be completed before surgery to prevent blood from contaminating the sample. It is important the semen collection container be kept warm during the collection procedure. Cold containers or slides will negatively impact the assessment of motility. The next video will demonstrate proper motility assessment, morphology slide preparation, and morphology assessment. Thank you for tuning in to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. If you have questions about this video or any of our services, please visit us at ks vdl.org